Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again, and we're working on the 26cc Weed Whacker engine. Um, still doing the HHO experimentation on it. I got a scrap piece of hose and extended out that small little bit of hose that was going into the carburetor up to that basketball needle. I also got this piece of hose, put a balloon on the end of it, put a smaller tube in it, so that will connect directly up to the HHO generator, and then we can take it off, kink the pipe, and then put it into there, open it up, and measure how long the uh, gas inside the balloon will last while we're trying to run the motor. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our HHO generator, and I'll do a time lapse of the balloon filling up, and then we'll go over to the motor, put it on the motor, and let it drain all out into the motor, and measure exactly how long uh, it'll run for. And I already know with our cell here, we're not going to have enough uh, volume to continuously run this motor. So maybe we can get a good, you know, base number on how many of these I need to build or how much more efficient I need to make this one. And hopefully we can get this motor to start up. Now we have our balloon filled up with uh, HHO gas. What we can do is we'll plug this in right here, and I have the hose kink so far. And up at the motor here, there's a choke. I'm going to make sure that I have that open so I can get as much airflow going through here as possible to see how, what the maximum is with that needle on the end. And I'm just going to unkink this hose and hit the stopwatch. You can hear it whistling up in the carburetor there. Now, we already know we're not going to make enough HHO with that one cell to uh, run this motor continuously, but we can put it into the balloon for testing purposes. And uh, it's actually running for a, a longer duration than I thought it was. I thought I was going to get probably about 15, 20 seconds out of this. Um, the flow is going to be dictated by the pressure here, so if you needed more flow, I guess we can put a book or something on top of the balloon here. And uh, you can hear the pressure dropping off already, so we'll put a little pressure on this. Try to keep that, that whistling noise coming out the same pitch until this goes completely flat. I've gotten a whole minute out of it so far. And that's it right there. So about a minute and 15 seconds, roughly. So I guess the next step we can go from here is, since we have fuel delivery and uh, a way to get it into the engine and spark and a pull start on it, uh, I think we can take it outside and try to start it now. So we'll stop the video here and uh, we'll go outside.
So, wow. Whoa. Holy crap. Uh, <laughs> it was a good thing that I did not fill the balloon all the way up. Um, I think I just scared off every bird in the neighborhood. But uh, what happened was we didn't have a safety preventer between the balloon and the carburetor. And as I mentioned, we might need to play with the ignition timing. We can tell the ignition timing is a little bit too early because the you know, when the spark went off, one of the intake valve was still open. And since the intake valve was still open, we had a backfire up through the carburetor here. And since it went up through the carburetor and it started burning all the fuel in there, it burned the fuel all the way down the line there. And when it got down to the end of the line there, the balloon was there. And, of course, the balloon ignited, puffed up for a second, and exploded. But that's what happens. So we'll figure out how to put a safety pre a preventer in between the two, uh, between the uh, balloon and the carburetor. Yeah, that was a uh, good thing I, you know, put that a little bit extra tube on there. If that was, like, right in my face when I pulled that, it would have uh, probably deafened me for a couple of hours or, you know, sent me to the hospital with a bursted eardrum. But it definitely got all my neighbors' attention. I told them to go check out the channel. Anywho, uh, I'm going to run a slow-mo of that really quick, and uh, you can check that out. And then at the end of the video here, I'm just going to put some uh, random close-up shots of the HHO generator running. Uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe, uh, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down, give me, you know, all your honest criticism. Um, make a comment if you want, uh, I'll try to get back and reply to you, but everybody have a good afternoon. I think we had some fun today.